Now we're gonna test it. Yes, my All right. test my Can test. you speak? It should record left and right. And probably lots of interference. Let's go. Today, we're checking out the Rewara Link R2 wireless microphone lavalier system. Let's do a little bit of unboxing. So we have the box which says Revora Link R2. It's a 2.4 GHz digital signal transmission. There are disadvantages of a 2.4 GHz band as seen in this graphic. The mic pattern is omnidirectional with a transmission range of about 50 meters in line of sight and promises more or less 10 hours of battery life. Inside the box, we get this hard shell carrying case and upon opening it, the units are identical but we get two transmitters and one receiver. They all have a battery and connectivity indicator. On the receiver has special indicators for connectivity to both transmitters. Now the accessories are safely stored in a plastic case. So inside, we receive two TRS cables. This should be connected to the mic in of the camera and mic out of the transmitter. I think the other cable should be a TRS, but I don't know why it's just a TRS. In the box, it says it should be a TRRS because TRRS is the one used to connect to the smartphones. Now we also get the USB charging cables for the units. They are connected to one head for simultaneous charging. We also get this wind fur. We can use this to dampen the wind noises. We also get this manual. If you want to read them, take a screenshot right now. This is how it would look like if you want to charge them. You connect them to the cable which connects to one USB head so you can charge them all simultaneously. Attaching the wind fur or wind shield is straightforward. Just mount it to the microphone module. Attaching the receiver is easy. Just look for the unit that has the RX label. Then using the clip underneath, latch it onto the flash port of the camera. Connect the TRS cable to the mic out of the RX unit and plug the other end to the mic in of your camera. And this is how it sounds like in a controlled environment. In a studio, I have to try it outside where there are lots of people, lots of sounds, sounds music, music uh, interferences with other radio frequencies. So we'll have to try if there are dropouts. But as for studio setting, this is how it sounds like. Tell me in the comments below if it's possible to your quality. Check mic. <laughs> Sound. Sound. I'm outside right now, about two arms arms length away, and this is how it sounds like. So you guys tell me in the comments if it sounds good. Six to seven feet away, this is how it sounds like. How are the S's? Is it okay? Do you hear the noise outside? Can you hear my mom? She's um, watering the plants. <laughs> Can you hear the cat? The grinder outside. How's the sound? How's the ambience? Ten feet away. Can you still hear me? Can you see me? How's the sound? All right, a little bit farther, ten to fifteen. So this is how it sounds like in this distance. Are there drop-offs, cut-offs? The chirps of the bird about 20 to 22 feet away. This is how it sounds like with the line of sight. Battery is almost full. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, F, G, R, S, E, U, V. How are the S's? Does it pop? S, 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 7, 6, 5. Um, I'm gonna go at the back. Can you still hear me? I'm still talking. I'm still talking. Are there drop-offs? How's the sound going? I'm back. All right, now we're gonna test it. Um, the cool thing about this transmitter is it's not just because it's cheap, but also a dual channel. Actually, it's a stereo. So I'm gonna ask my, uh, my Joa. Sit here. This is the other transmitter. Yes, yes. My All right, my can you best. speak? It's actually set to a mono right now. How's the sound? How's your end? Refer so that there's no problem with the wind. This is how it sounds like with the two transmitter. Can you talk simultaneously? Wobble. Jordan is handsome. You see, the voice. <laughs> Maganda. Yes, Maganda. Here's uh, the feature where you can turn it into stereo. Both of these transmitters are going to going through to one channel. We're going to try to do it with two channels. You can press a button here, one single press, and now it should record left and right. The cool thing is her channel will go to a different channel and my channel will go to a different channel. That's even cool. if we're talking at the same time, you can remove the words. All right, you get the point. That's my review. I think this will be awesome. This is how it sounds like outside. We'll try to use it in a noisy environment. In front of a live band, it's so loud. 
loud. I don't know if you can hear me. About this distance, they are playing out loud to a PA system. I don't know if you can hear me, but that's it, guys. That's how the sound goes. I also have the cell phone, so you can hear a comparison. This is a test for the outdoors. The ultimate test of this microphone. I'm in front of a band. about 1.3 meters away I'm gonna walk farther and farther and farther let's go 10 feet away how's the wind muff working for the wind let's go for a walk I'm about 25 feet away from and I'm going to alternate the sound from the phone and the um, camera from the transmitter so you will hear the difference from the transmitter the wireless mic and also so far away so how far is this away where does it stop how's the signal so far can you still hear me how's it going so far can you still see me 40 feet can you still hear me and i'm going back because it's too far i'm going to run back watch it guys i'm scared that that microphone will fall while we're at it i'm gonna talk to you about the wind muff um, I think it's gonna fall somewhere. How is it? How is the uh, sound? Hopefully it works. So if this is one, then this might be the best. the best. Wireless system for your content creation needs. My final thoughts, it's amazing for its price. But it has some negatives. This is a 2.4G, hence you can't expect too much. It's prone to interference and dropouts on a distance. I don't know how far this is, probably 40 feet. Also, it has lacking mounting options. You have to improvise on what you have. Another blunder of it was I was only given two TRS cables. If it had a TRRS cable as stated in the box, then I could have tested it with the smartphone. But overall, I'd say this is by far the best bang for the buck. Just know its limitations. Now on to the highlights. It's stereo. It allows mono or stereo recording, which gives you more post-processing options in the edit. Built-in battery. 10 hours is more than enough for a shoot. ANC, it has active noise cancelling which allows for those special occasions that you need isolated vocals on a noisy environment. Headphone monitoring, which is great for checking the sound if you have a camera person. Totally recommended. Has great interface and buttons. I love the design, the color, and the scheme. All in all, I totally recommend this to all starting YouTubers and content creators. The convenience it gives and quality is great. Alright, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe!